When bow hunting from a ground blind, there's a few things to keep in mind to help increase your odds of success. The first is gonna be not opening too many windows. It's tempting to do so because you can see more, but it's not gonna do much to keep you hidden. So try to keep the back and the back corners of the blind closed. That way it creates some shadow and conceals your movements. Uh, the second thing is gonna be to shoot from those shadows. So don't sit right up next to the window. It's tempting because you can see more, but it's not gonna do much to conceal any movement. So you wanna scooch further back into the blind where it's darker and you're more well hidden. On that same note, when you scooch back into the blind, you wanna make sure that you don't get too far back so that when you come to full draw, your back elbow will contact the blind. Uh, it's a common mistake. And when you get into the blind and get set up, doing a practice draw will help alleviate it. Another thing to pay attention to is the window height and its relationship to your arrow. Uh, you may have a clear sight picture with your sight pins through the window, but that arrow is gonna sit well below the sight pins and you may contact the top of the window opening when you shoot if you're not careful. The last thing to pay attention to is the top cam and the top limb of your bow uh, and the clearance it has with the roof of the blind. When you come back to full draw and the limbs are compressed, you may be clear of it, but if it's close, when you fire, those limbs and that cam can slap the blind and scare game and screw up your shot. So you wanna make sure that you've got plenty of distance between those two so that it doesn't happen. A uh, good way to alleviate it is shooting a shorter axle axle bow and just being mindful that you're gonna bow hunt out of a blind and making sure that you get a blind that's tall enough to actually bow hunt out of. Keep these tips in mind next time you decide to bow hunt from a ground blind.